Good morning, students. I'm Ashwinde. This is Ashwinde, and we're discussing uh, the Lookout Man by Nicholas Bentley. I already told you about uh, these characters and the man's uh, uh, entrance in the shop and uh, the theft of a ring from the shop. Uh, Mr. Regner took that man to his cabin and interacted with him. Actually, a direct allegation was not made, but some of uh, suspicion was there that the man must have stolen because uh, no any other customer was there in that shop. But after some times, what happened? Um, a surprising thing happened. Actually, I'm using this word surprising. It's because a girl entered the shop. Now you you will say that uh, what is problem? As it is jewelry shop, so many people come, and whether it's man or woman or a girl or a boy, any person can come to the shop and uh, purchase the jewelry of his choice, right? Okay, of course, if you are thinking like this, then you are right. But what happened? The girl who had entered was the same girl who was just some times ago standing outside the shop and to whom William Morris had noticed. Okay. She was just alone there, and now she had entered the shop. She was wearing the same um, coat. Um, she she was very young. Okay, uh, actually, um, William Morris was startled or surprised to see that girl in the shop. Okay, uh, since the time she entered, Morris was somewhat uh, not sure about her behavior. Actually, he was somewhat suspicious or doubtful about her. Behavior uh, about the purpose with which she, she she had entered the shop. Now the girl uh, came there to get her bracelet repaired. It had broken from one from uh, one particular point. Okay, and uh, she asked uh, Mr. Morris if uh, he could mend or repair that bracelet. But uh, Mr. M uh, Morris William Morris. Uh, uh, said no ma'am we do not do this kind of work no repairing work is done here okay and uh, this way <clears throat> he told her very clearly but after that also she was there and uh, after some times when they were discussing about that repairing work or the bracelet actually all the people were already in tension it's because of uh, uh, you know that piece of ring that ring uh, 17th century ring had been stolen by someone else okay and the entire doubt was on that man in his 30s or 40s who had just entered before the young girl had come to the shop right so <clears throat> actually uh, what happened when the bracelet fell on the ground mr morris bent down and uh, caught that piece it means bracelet, it was just cheap, it was not costly, it was not even antique, okay. Uh, still that girl had come there and it was startling. Actually, when Mr. Morris told her that we do not repair the things here, uh, he was sure that the girl also must be knowing this fact. Still she had come there, okay. It was just a jewelry shop and not repairing shop, right. And because of that, uh, his doubt about that girl consolidated or strengthened, right. So what happened? Mr. Uh, Morris took a piece of uh, tissue paper and uh, took up that fallen, which had fallen, that uh, bracelet which had fallen on the ground, uh, pick up in his uh, tissue paper and give it back to that girl. Actually, he was suspicious for that girl also because uh, of her body language, because of her uh, behavior since the time she had entered the shop. She was carrying a big bag. She was wearing a large coat over coat. She was um, having a bag also. Okay. And you know that episode had already taken place there of that jewelry of 17th century. Okay, that piece of jewelry of 17th century. So after some times, Morris understood one thing. I had developed this kind of sense. Okay. By reading uh, the detective novels, by reading the detective stories, he understood that that particular girl also had played some role in, you know, the loss of that jewelry piece. That is the precious ring of the 17th century. And there was uh, indirect or non-verbal communication between the man 
miss 30s and 40s and this is girl or the woman right and that's why and it was clear that uh, the man had not stolen that ring right it was clear from the interaction uh, of that man with mr regner the owner of this shop and then morris very straightforwardly uh, when actually that girl was about to leave okay the shop mr uh, morris warned her to stop but she did not pay any attention she did not pay any heed to mr morris and uh, she continued walking out okay uh, through the way and she was just about to get out of the shop in between he literally screamed mr morris literally screamed and literally warned loudly just stop ma'am and then she stopped understanding the gravity the seriousness of the situation and then he very politely asked that lady either you return our uh, antique piece or of jewelry or that ring or we will uh, inform to the police okay or we will take the action or we i will press the alarm button which means that all the shops would be automatically closing okay so that girl that woman understood the gravity or the seriousness of the situation and after some times you know all the people got engaged in interacting with the girl because now the complete doubt was on that girl only because of her uh, somewhat suspicious behavior okay her body language and uh, lastly that girl okay confessed that she had stolen the ring and she he returned that ring to mr morris and after that all these people got relieved okay they were now free of tension okay so this had happened the first time in the history of that particular show so what do we learn now say when in the beginning in the first lecture i started telling you that uh, this story is about problem solving skills okay there was a weird reader with the fond who mr morris was the weird reader he was the fond of detective stories and he had developed this kind of understanding that he could uh, even understand what was going on uh, in the minds of the people through uh, their behavior okay from their behavior so this kind of understanding was there in uh, mr william morris and uh, at the proper time in the proper situation he applied his brain he used inter his intellect and caught the person who was behind the theft of that uh, precious 17th century ring and that's why it is given that it is about what problem solving skill we all are intellectual our iq is nearly same we all the people the people on this planet but the <clears throat> problem is the but the problem with us is that many a time we do not use our brain so many we are surrounded by so many problems uh, hurdles are there but if we use our intellect if we uh, apply our intellect properly then definitely we can solve a lot of problems because most of the problems are man made problems so definitely we can deal with the situation of the conditions of our life uh, positive and can, definitely can get uh, out of that particular situation if we are in trouble if we apply our mind or brain or our intellect and we can solve the problems okay so this story is about uh, problem solving skills the look out man by nicolas bentley so this is a wonderful story and the story is complete here and we stop here thank you